That's what we're looking, looking for. Wait, that's guys, tall people toward the back. Take Three. two steps forward. Now we got a little bit too much. Right next to her. This is like a <laughs> great <laughs> thing. Okay, and everybody think rock star and yeah. look up and. Uh, Shauna Mitchell. I am Shauna Mitchell. I have her Amazon. Oh, yes, and you are my cellist. It's from I'm Big Brother. It's well. from Big Brother. The biggest brother ever. Apparently, that is the rumor. You're the one season I watched. So oh, I actually know all about you. Um, I just had a friend of mine from high school who wasn't a friend in high school, but now all of a sudden thinks she's like one of my closest friends and uh, one of my girls. They're my favorite. And she called me the other day. She's like, oh, I've got a friend and she's looking for a manager or an agent. I know you're in the business, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, she did Extreme Makeover and now she wants to be an actress. I don't yeah. want to meet some freak that got her lips done on Extreme Makeover. <laughs> that doesn't make you like a reality person. That right. makes you like some game show contestant. It's all kind of in the same network, but it's like the unspoken hierarchy. The, which I like to refer to as reality royalty, as Ooh. opposed to like, And, you and know, what is this reality royalty? Let's I think break it down. major network. Absolutely. Um, top 10 show. People always say like Real World started the genre, and I don't necessarily believe that. I think that Real World was what it was, but it took a show like Survivor to make it into the phenomenon that it's become. Yeah, I watch only five episodes of my entire season. Let me tell you something. I don't even watch it. The person that gets kicked off Survivor first makes more money than the person that comes in third on Big Brother. No way! Yeah. That's garbage. Yeah. I don't know if Lex has told you, but like, our personal hell may actually be Big Brother. Like, how to be cooped up in like a house and be like, <laughs> I'd be horrible. I'd be like, oh, Lord. I'd be like, I was voting myself off on the Amazon. I've been out day three. I did go a little insane, and my happy place was to stop talking to the rest of the I guests. I liked you. Only talk to I myself. I liked you. I was a much, I was a huge fan because you were just like the sassy. So that's like my first impression of you. Like even now, it's just like super sass, and like I'm all about <laughs> someone who's just like, yeah, that's how it is. And just like, like come on, we're That's done. really like, sweet. Thank sure. you. Sure. And my first question of you were you a very nice girl and you actually were demure when you were sitting there with your legs crossed trying not to show all your business was, like somebody's hooches. That was know? my plan. It's actually me sandbagging. I show it later. <laughs> okay, so you were on Big Brother one and you took a second place. I should like to mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> To a guy with one leg. Yes. Yeah, that's interesting. Does that haunt you still? No. No? That's true. Really? Yeah. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, six more days for a million dollars, but it's okay. Of all the people that you don't really know that well, uh -huh. who are you the most interested in getting to know? Remember, you're single now. Oh, that's right. I was going to pick a girl. What is wrong with me? I don't know. I'm, the, I'm like, <laughs> oh my I'm like God. your pimp. The hottie from Amazing Race, not so much. Not your type? No, not really. Okay. And the, that your roommate? No. Yeah. Inspired. Player. Right, okay. exactly. Everyone else is taken, I believe. Oh, perfect. That's just my luck. Well, there you go. Maybe we can find a single girl. I could probably. Switch teams. Maybe I should just switch teams. You know, the men thing's not working out for me. There you go. I pick Sarah. <laughs> Sarah? Okay. Yeah. Sarah, you win. All right, so out of everyone here, who do you want to get to know better? I would say the person that I know the least is Sarah Kozer. She seems very, very interesting with a story to tell, and I want to find out what it is. Well, we'll have to fight for her then, because she was my pick. All right, we'll, we'll team up. <laughs> we'll arm Great. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I just have to ask just one quick question, just to get get the formalities out of the way. How did you meet Josh? You know what? I actually met him before. He, he actually he was on his show, but I didn't do. We've been yeah. together for three and a half years. So that was before your before show. Before I did my show. So how, I mean, because to me it's so weird that reality people they, really they, do gravitate. Right, right, right. And, you know why don't we go off and use the celebrity and get other people? <laughs> when we stay in our own little circle. Don't you know who I am? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> drawn to each other. I saw him across the room, he saw me, and it was just like kind of love at first sight. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Speaking of uh, reality romances, I want to ask you a little bit about your girlfriend, your uh -huh. airline. Um, she's so beautiful, by the way. I seen this girl and I was like, there's like, no way she's going to choose me. She can have any guy <laughs> she wants. There's no way she's going to choose me. And then for it to all come full circle. It was amazing though to watch later. to watch your love just kind of like happen on television. It seemed really natural. It seemed really kind of pure, and it was like how how weird to have it be so pure in such an unnatural situation. I don't know about pure, you know? but it was very. <laughs> it no, was very, I mean it was very pure natural. in terms yeah. of like just being a natural exactly. attraction. You know, yeah. not like forced. Like oh, here yeah. we are stuck in the house together. We might as well get together. Yeah, you know, exactly. two beautiful people. Why not? No, was there anybody here on like that's. 
on this list or that I, that I said that you kind of had a weird feeling about? Maybe a feeling that you wanted to get to know more? I actually met Lex before, but I wanted to kind of get to know him a little bit more. I just found him so fascinating on his show. Really? I really just wanted to talk what to him. What was it? What was it that was fascinating? I don't besides know. He was just like, just something about his energy that just says, I'm, I'm a real person. You know, this is like, I, there's no BS, you know? Hey, what about you? Marcellus. And only because in a meeting that we heard that Marcella was like the diva that I had, you know, that you got. I mean, he hasn't let me down at all. My expectations were definitely surpassed. You just want to be around him. Yeah, because he shows and all the cameras and all this stuff. He, you know, he doesn't care. He's not trying to play the part of like right. whatever. So. Oh yes, he is. <laughs> but, but you know, it's that's him, and I think that's beautiful. How did your hookup with Stephen happen? They played it out like I. I was really interested in the prank guy, like the dork of the show. <laughs> well, he knows he's a dork, so it's not like I'm saying he's my friend, I can call him a dork. But it wasn't like that from the beginning at all. I was just like, Steven's hot, Steven's hot. They never showed me saying that, but I thought he was totally hot. And plus, he was from the South. I didn't know about anybody else South, on my show. South is good. Yeah, he's from Texas and I'm from Louisiana. We mesh, we mesh, we understand each other. I only watched one episode and I saw you like in a hot tub with like 500 people. Three people, yeah. okay, but um, kissing, yes. Right. When I'm single and I drink, I think it's fun to make out with boys when I'm 22. This is two years ago. And girls, right? So, yeah, at that point, yeah. So, I don't know. I thought he was cute and we were wasted. And it wasn't even the first night. They made it look like it was the first night, but it wasn't. It was the second night. <laughs> uh, the second night, so it that's all it takes, night. huh? No, we just kissed, whatever. So, from the beginning, did you want to do Playboy? No, no. How did In that fact, happen? I said no. I said no again. I cried. But you did though. I freaked out. Yeah. You did. Well, you gave in the temptation. It was good money. Good money. Okay. I freaked out and I called my dad at like four in the What'd morning your dad and say? I cried. Oh, are you kidding? He's. I was raised Southern Baptist. They weren't very happy at all. Yeah. It's not good. He, didn't, he, didn't you do a video or something? It was Somebody a DVD. Covered? It wasn't bad. It, actually, it's <laughs> the DVD. It's not did like it along in the soft package? porn or anything of like a Playboy photo shoot. Okay. What do you think about Marcellus? Is he gay? Is he gay? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh. <laughs> Didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't know. Um, I, I met uh, Kaya the other night at um, at White Lotus, and I talked to his ear off like a crazy. He probably hates me for that. I was talking to him for like an hour. I don't think he got a word in. And I was asking him a relationship advice. <laughs> Why are you? Are you bored? <laughs> <laughs> Screw off! Do you think there is a difference between who you are and the way the public perceives you? If so, what are the differences? Um, I'll, I'll answer it. I, I mean, I, I think that probably for most of us, you know, what you see is, is not always what you get as far as who we are. I mean, the, the, the audience is getting what the audience probably wants. And as far as I'm concerned, I tell everybody, when you meet me in person, you'll learn more about me in two minutes of talking to me than you would in 30 40 episodes of watching the show. It's all about editing. You know? here, here. Yeah, I mean, and anybody who thinks watching any of these reality shows that they're getting the real deal and a true representation of what happened, I mean, it's not documentary TV. They never pretended it was. It's entertainment. And we all signed on the dotted line. We knew it wasn't going to be like National Geographic. Right? No, it's like they want to make good drama and good entertainment. And you know, the truth ain't all that entertaining most of the time. <laughs> You know, but it's so, so much easier. It's so much easier to portray you as like the punker, one-dimensional right, right. oh, tattoo absolutely. than it is to portray you as like a natural human being. So like, right. I think that we we all have so many sides of ourselves, and we're all obviously like leaders of whatever groups it is that we came from individually. Did they ever show you rock climbing? No, well they showed me one that's second climbing, huge but that's all I did in Vegas. Like, that's that's it. Okay, okay, here's one. When you're False. watching reality, do you find yourself judging the people on the reality shows even though you know what the effects of like the editing is? I absolutely do not, by the way. This is for Nathan. It's hard not to. I know, I absolutely do. I do not judge people now. I like, If anything, if I'm in a room with people watching a show, I, I absolutely, because I'm going to stand. Right, you're the voice of reason. No, but I, I honestly sit there and I find myself like defending everyone on the damn show and everyone's like no he's not or she mm -hmm. is not and I'm like honestly I guarantee you she's such a great person they casted her for what, God's what sake. Is... Everybody in, in the 
TV audience has a certain character they can relate to. So they figure that this person's gonna play this part, this person's gonna play this part, so they're gonna edit you that way. No matter what kind of person you are, if you're a bad person, or if they think you're a bad person, they're gonna edit the worst possible parts about you just to show that. And that's the, Yeah, but I think that like sometimes right, right, we use that as a crutch. Like we start using the whole like I got edited badly as a crutch because you can't really watch yourself uh, and and not feel badly and you start to be it's like it's a really easy excuse for your behavior sometimes I'm not saying that everyone does that in all circumstances but sometimes I've heard people where I'm like you're starting to use that as an excuse like you actually did act that way right, and it's over emphasize when they delete 90% yeah, of yeah. everything I agree else that you did it, it. Yeah. Yeah. which yeah. is what yeah. they yeah. totally did to me I mean they right. never showed me having a good time one single time in two weeks. <laughs> I was doing they're gonna, the ball. They're going to they're gonna <laughs> take the way that they want, and they're going to edit you that way. Shots. They cut all of that out. They showed oh. one dimension, me. They even like sat me down like, why don't you just go read a book over there? You know? Like, 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 later. Like, you can't, like, suck it in. You know what? I, I mean, at times I was so bored, I wanted to go read that book. But I didn't know that they were going to cut out everything else. That's so funny. That's so funny. I judge people, dude. I'm I'm the worst too. I'm the worst because I, I when I saw my show, I'm like, oh, they left out every good thing, da 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 da. But well, most of the good things is whenever we were sleeping during the day because we went out all day. Yeah, but we were laughing. But I so judge much people much. so hard. Gonna, I but I judge the good people on the show. I judge yeah. every person who's like, I'm just the, the nicest person Me. ever. I hate them so much. Me. Like on Sarah's show, I hated Zora. Our, is that her name? Yeah. Hated her. I was like, <laughs> she was going to give all her money to charity and her family and I mean, go to... Okay. I did not like her at all. The way that they so I like, Zora to be that obnoxiously good, but they did it on purpose. The same way that I got edited obnoxiously bad, Zora wasn't that like retarded, like, oh yeah, Disneyland, I'm going to help old people across the street. They were casting her. They cut out all of the things that made her interesting and made her like a real person and made her fun and made her kind of scandalous. I mean, she was telling yeah, stories like the rest of us. Hello. You know what? But she they edited her. Hey. She thinks she's America's sweetheart, but she's just a fucking bore to me. <laughs> but, okay, but listen, but listen. And I'm, I'm not discounting it. But, but Trishel, okay, but that was that was the role I got cast. So for Zora, they cut out anything that made her interesting. They just left everything that made her, like, America's sweetheart. Exactly like you're saying. You know, when I was on my date, they put porno music in the background. Zora's on her date, they put, like, Disney music. And that makes me feel good. But Zora wasn't as boring. Just as I wasn't as slutty as they portrayed me, Zora wasn't as boring as they portrayed her either, you know? But I've given the options. I would rather have a boring girl. You have a better opinion based on the way that they edited her. No, and that's my thing. Like, I hate people. Judge. Actually, but how do you feel like when people do that about you? Uh, well, I say that I hate it. I hate it at first, but now I'm just like I don't think I use it as fuel to the fire. You know, you use what they, what they deal, the cards they deal you, and you play it to your advantage. I mean, of course, but I mean, it doesn't define who you are as the way that, that they no. edited you as a character. But people judge you as that person.